Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, I'm pretty excited about this show. I'm usually not excited when you do shows <laughs> because you normally toss in some weird stuff that I don't like all Weird. That. But I know one thing about what we're reviewing today, Found North, yeah. is that you, you usually kind of follow the rules, I feel like, a lot of times. We did a video at some point, I can't remember, a couple months ago, I think, yeah. where it was like our favorite... Um, bourbons of all time or something like that, I think. And it was bourbon. It was a bourbon video. Exactly. And you decided right to there. slip in this this rye <laughs> whiskey from Found North that you got at Benny's. <laughs> and I gave you a lot hard time. A lot of people in the comments gave you a hard time. It, it was, yeah. It right. was good. Right. right, um, right. And I noticed that that is the, the one with the, the most out of it so far. Sure, sure. So, as Trenton mentioned, we are going to review Found North whiskey. All right. The, the owners are brothers. They're brothers that actually started this, oh. Nick and Zach Taylor. Now, to be truthful, I did buy this at Benny's. Trenton's correct about that, because you can see where the level is there. I've had just a couple yeah. snorts out of that one. <laughs> snorts? You you snorting going? whiskey? Well, you know, a no couple No wonder sips, you had nose problems. A couple glug, glugs, a couple snorts, you know, whatever you want to say. However, the other three were provided to us by Found North, and I'm... I'm not sure, was there, who did you talk to? It wasn't one of the brothers, was it, or no? Uh, no, his name was uh, Phil Mahan Mahan. I'm terrible with last names. That's right. um, I Phil. Be Phil's I good believe enough. he is a, the, uh, an ambassador, brand okay. ambassador or something for right. Found North. They actually, I think he watched the channel or something, or somebody sent uh, him the video we did. because oh, he very was nice. like, Hey, we noticed you guys had All right. six. We'd like Fantastic. to send you a couple more if you want, and I'm, yeah. I'm never going to say no to some free whiskey. No, so. no, no. No, so thank you, Phil. Thank you. Really appreciate you supplying the rest of these for us, and we, I, I'm really excited about this show. So the long and short, we'll try to do this real quick, and we'll get into the tasting. What these guys do, Trenton, is they source whiskey directly from Canada, right? So I know the first thing you're going to think is... Crown Apple 23. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, that's the first exactly. thing I think of. <laughs> exactly, but I want to set you straight right off the bat. Okay. These guys source fantastic whiskey, all right, with no additives. You know, because some, some Canadian whiskeys... Canadian yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. There's, the rules are a little bit wishy-washy for Canadian whiskey, but these particular whiskeys that are sourced by Found North, no additives, no coloring, and everything that you find in their releases are non-show filtered and released at cask strength. So, yes, everything is sourced from Canada, but top-notch whiskey. Does it say where it's sourced from? No. Darn. No. Okay. It does not. I didn't find that information. Okay. I got you. Yeah. So, but I think they're out of New Hampshire. I think that's what you told me. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the guys are in New Hampshire, but they blend, and they've got some wicked blends, Trenton. Do they? I'm, 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 I've got notes here because there's like no a way that I can remember all this information. Impossible. So I wanted to get out there, though, because I think it's important. You know how I like that stuff. Yeah. It's important. I, I want to confirm what you said. New Hampshire, yes. I don't usually read. I don't know if you guys <laughs> no. will be able to tell that just from looking at me or hearing me no. talk about stuff. But this is good memory, but he doesn't read. <laughs> bottled by Found North in uh, Dover, New Hampshire. Days. Dover, yeah. Okay, yep. thank you. Yep. All right, great. All right, so what we've got in the bar top, Trenton, is actually only one rye whiskey, and that's this one down here. Now, I could tell by when you started talking, you thought all of these were rye whiskeys. But this is rye whiskey? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> I know. Well, that just blew my face well, off. Hey, let's <laughs> Let's look at it this way. Here's what I did for you. Just for you. I put the rye whiskey over here so we could taste it first. Okay. All right. Well, that's so, so nice of you. Let me give you a little bit of information about this. And I apologize for the glasses, but... He can't you know, see. That's I, I, I'm, I'm knocking on 60, and I'm not going to remember all this stuff. Trenton, this, this particular bottle is 110.2 proof, and it's about $135. Now, here's the blend. There's five whiskeys in this blend. An 18-year-old rye aged in X tequila barrels, an 18-year-old rye whiskey aged in X Speyside scotch barrels, a 20-year-old corn whiskey aged in American oak, a 17-year-old rye whiskey aged in Hungarian oak, and a 25-year-old corn aged in Hungarian oak. So the final mash bill, once all the blend was completed, 64% rye, 32% corn, and 4% malted barley. You're, I know your handwriting isn't the greatest, but I'm looking at this, and right. I thought this says aged in spinach. <laughs> 
But it does say space side now that you say that. I was just kind of laughing. I don't really see any green notes in there. No. But... Does it tell you like how much of each thing went into the blend? I did not percentage find that information. Right? Okay. I know you like uh, when I'm tossing questions for you. I know, but I will say that, that what I do love about this company is that they are very out front and open of what is in this bottle, which as a consumer, I 100% I, I appreciate that, no doubt about it. On their website, you can find all kinds of information about all their releases. I can almost pick up the tequila. That's this is a 17 on the label, 17 year batch three. I'm sorry, I didn't, okay. I didn't say that. It smells really nice. I feel like I can smell the tequila though a little bit. A little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, Maybe that's a little bit of agave note. Maybe, yeah. Because I'm I can, a little, I can go with that. I'm a little bit sensitive when it comes to the to the tequila. I'm not a huge tequila fan. Right. Well, to me, it's more like a little bit of a honey note, but it, I can see where it could dips into some kind of agave note there. I can see that. I get like a honeydew melon. I get just a tiny bit of rice spice on the mm -hmm. nose as well. There's a lot going on in there. <laughs> there is a lot going how, on. How much was it? This is, you said batch three. How much are these? This, this one, one is $135. Now, all the pricing that I got came directly off their website. So everybody knows. I love when they actually put their price on the website. I know it might vary from state to state and whatnot, but when they put it on their website, it, I like that. It doesn't have to be so cryptic about the price. Wow. I, got, I like it. I, got, I do. I like it. I, I thought you might like it. I do get some rice spice there, absolutely for sure. The final match bill is somewhat of a lower rye, rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am getting some honey notes out of it for sure. For sure, yeah. And I get a little bit of a citrus pop there, not 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 brighten in your face, but a little bit of citrus. So this is going to be a dumb question, but I'm not a, a, a Scotch person. So like, is a space side? Do should I expect some um, like a peatiness in there or no? Okay, you remember when Barter Hordes came and we recorded our last video? How could with, I not? With Robert? Yeah. Very kind of him, but he brought us that gift. Mm-hmm. Of that scotch, that sweet tart one. That's a space side scotch. Oh, okay, so no peatiness in there. Okay, no peaty. So that's good. I like. It's it. good. Yeah. I mean, it's solid. Yeah. It's extremely solid. So no. let's move on to the next one. We got a lot to cover. So Trenton, this one is on the label. This is an eight-year cast strength batch five, and it's about one hundred twenty-five dollars. Now, this actually has wheat. In it. Oh. Yep. So let me write, let me, this is only a two whiskey blend on this one, Trent. 20, 21 year corn aged in ex bourbon casks. And Lord of Mercy. Well, there you have it. I didn't have it on there. What did you say it's <laughs> with? 73% corn? Yeah. 27%. Well, the final match bill 73% corn, 27% wheat. Okay. So I apologize. I don't have the uh, I don't have the other whiskey that's in the blend in my notes. That's so all I need to know. I can put it up on <clears throat> put it up on screen after the fact. Yeah. Well, actually, I have it in writing. Okay. I, I guess I just have to read my own writing, Bubba. <laughs> it says the wheat whiskey does not specify the age, but does state that it was aged in new American oak barrels. Well, there you go. So it was on there in we software there. fashion. We got there. <laughs> It might take a couple minutes, but we got there. So this is kind of a weeder, per se. That's, wow, that's a really whole nice. difference I notice yeah. there, for sure. This is just two in the blend? Just two. Two whiskeys. Corn whiskey and a wheat whiskey. Man, that nose is kind of hard to like identify. I, I like it. Yeah. I just can't really identify what it is I'm smelling. And it's all different, and we want to be perfectly clear. We are, you know, taste testing found north whiskeys, but these are not bourbon. This is not bourbon. True. You know, so keep that in mind. This is not bourbon. This is whiskey. It, it, I get a lot of grain. I don't really get much. Yeah. Like, But it's real sweetness. I get some sugary yeah. sweetness. You could tell there's sweetness on the nose, right? Is it kind of like mus musky, musty? Like damp? A little mm -hmm. dampness? I can see that. Kind of towards the back? That's sure. That's really all I'm getting. Nothing sure. too complex. Yeah. It is sweet. I like the yeah. nose, but mm -hmm. nothing, nothing that would indicate what's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't think at least. <laughs> that seriously, that tastes like I licked a Rick House. 
or like captured the air in a rick house and right? just like put it in a liquid it's form. strange it's wild it. is it that's pretty good that kind of took me by surprise i'm gonna be honest especially with the nose i wasn't really impressed mm -hmm. by what was coming from the mm -hmm. nose on that one i don't know if you and if any of you have ever, have ever been to kentucky but like if you pull up to a distillery and as soon as you get out of your car especially when it's hot out yeah. You just get punched by that Rick House bourbon kind of smell. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how this tastes, if I had to describe it. I, you know, Honeyness. Honey's too sweet. In my mind, I'm thinking there's there's a nice old corn-dominant whiskey that's in this blend. And I really get that really mature and lovely corn note in there. Yeah. And, and I don't mean it to be young and nasty. It's nothing like that at all. It's it's really mature, drippy, savory kind of a corn note that I get on that. Yeah. Drippy? Drippy, for sure. Drippy corn? Yeah. Like a yeah. cream corn? What the heck? I have a lot of questions for you after this video. <laughs> but I get some earthiness there, too. I really do. Do you get any earthiness, like a tobacco note or something like that? I'm getting a little bit of like a bitterness. Maybe that's the, maybe that's kind of what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not yeah. off putting. It kind no. of goes with the, the vibe of, no. this, uh, of yeah. the sit for me. It, it, and that's exactly correct. I'm not, I'd have to come back to that at a later date. That's my first sip on that one to see, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge on that one. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot, there's some things going on there. There's some good things and a couple things that I'm like, mm, yeah, it's all right. Toss, toss up for me. I, I like it. I would yeah. I would have to spend a little bit more time with it to really yeah. kind of decide All right. what I'm feeling. All right, let's go on to the next one. This one here is the one I bought, Trent. This is the 17-year-old Batch 6. This one was right about 150 bucks. So 128.2 proof. You ready for that? 128.2 proof. I haven't eaten anything in a This long. is a five whiskey blend. Five whiskey blend, twenty-year-old corn aged in Hungarian oak, twenty-six-year-old corn aged in Hungarian oak, seventeen-year-old corn aged in ex bourbon barrels, eighteen-year-old rye whiskey aged in Hungarian oak, and a nineteen-year-old rye aged in American oak. It's a lot, a lot of stuff in that blend. Very intriguing to me. Very intriguing. I'm struggling with the nose because I, I know I like the palate based on what what yeah. what we we tried last time. I find all these to be very honey dominant on the nose so far. This one especially, it's really thick to me. I'm getting a weird weird one. <laughs> oh well, that's shocking. It is sweet, but it's it's like mm -hmm. I'm standing next to like the lumber section at a Home Depot. And yeah. somebody's like using like a like stain, like they're staining a piece of wood really? with some honey as well. It's kind of <laughs> weird. Maybe. Well, again, this is stuff that we're really not used to. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind. I mean, this isn't bourbon. This isn't scotch. This is whiskey, you know, and a lot of yeah. corn whiskeys in here. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Little peanutty there at the end, mm -hmm. kind of comes up and hits you from the back of the head. Mm. Mm. Do you get that too, or am I just am I am I weird? I haven't got it yet. Weird, I'm gonna but... take another sip. That's pretty good. That's that's really really a good sip. It really is nice. It's interesting because on the first sip, it's not as good as I remember. And I'll I'll, I'll kind of talk about my rankings and mm -hmm. stuff here in a, sure. in a bit. Sure, but. I find a bit of a butterscotch note there, yeah. just a very light butterscotch note. I'm still in with the honey. I'm all in with the honey, like a deep amber, dark type honey note in there. It's pretty oaky. Okay. Kind of getting a little bit of a fig type thing going on. All right. Just a slight. <clears throat> I don't think I've eaten a fig like that. You make that some cocktails with like a fig syrup in it. That's pretty good. Yep. I'm getting a lot of oak on this one today. Oh. It's good, yeah, but it's it's a lot more oak and not as much right. other flavors, kind of front and center, like I sure. remember it being when we first sure. tried it. All right, but let's move on to the last one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the eighteen year old. This is batch number four. Now on the website, it's listed as a hundred dollars. Okay, but it's also listed as sold out. So I'm assuming this might be an older batch. Okay, but I don't know that to be certain. I'm I'm a little curious on the price point. 
being a hundred dollars, the rest of them are over a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so let me get the notes out here for you, buddy, on this one. One hundred twenty-four point eight proof, right? So four whiskeys in this. One hundred twenty-four proof. Mm -hmm. Wow, I would never guess that. One hundred twenty-four point eight proof. So this one here, Trenton, is a four whiskey blend, 25 year corn aged in Hungarian oak, 21 year old corn aged in Hungarian oak, 18 year old rye aged in Speyside Scotch, so there's another one of those, and an 18 year old rye aged in American oak. Right. The final mash bill on this one was 80% corn, 19% rye, and 1% malted barley. Boy, this is really, it's got like a really crisp. Yeah nose mm -hmm. like a crisp appleiness it's a lot different from this one tons different than yeah. that one it's not as sharp with the like the proof i would never guess that this is what, a, what the proof you said 124 mm -hmm. or 28.4 i would never guess that i'm almost getting some floral notes on the notes 124.8 oh you did say that yeah okay yeah yeah it's like you're skipping through a lilac field or something <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. crisp air, like a, it's like almost like a Yankee candle if it was a smell, you know. <laughs> I know, and I don't like Yankee candles, man. I don't like scented candles. Am what? I weird? No, come on, you don't like they a good Bath and Body Works candle. Or something? If I walk in Bath and Body, it gives me a headache. That's okay. I can see that. It's it's pretty uh, aggressive. <laughs> the smell. How did we get <laughs> on that topic? Well, it's floral. It's a lilac yeah. feel. You're skipping through a lilac field somewhere. Yeah. But it is. It's it's light and floral. It's kind of. I mean, I'm just a bit surprised, to be honest with you, with the nose on that. All these have a honey. Mm -hmm. It's all of them. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm picking up some of that space sidiness in there, just like yeah. kind of towards the tail end. And I was going to say a little biscuity, biscuit, and and following suit with your space side scotch barrel. You know, you get a little of that. Malty biscuity influence possibly on the whiskey. A little biscuity, a little honey, some vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. It's the price is kind of uh, interesting on this one because mm -hmm. to me it's 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 good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say that it's hundred percent right. on par with a lot of the other ones sure. that are a little bit more expensive. Sure, but there's a twenty five year corn in there. Yeah, I know. I know. So interesting. It is. Well, I have to ask you, what's your what's your final roundup here? What are you thinking? What's your thoughts? What's your overall thoughts and your ranking? I, I'm I'm going to be honest. This is very difficult. Yeah. I I'm almost thinking about putting this one first, just because it's so it's the youngest. It's the, it's got a, a lot of different stuff. Definitely different. Definitely different for sure. See now, after these two, it doesn't have a ton of flavor anymore for me. Mm -hmm. For me, I think I would go the rye would be my first. It's okay. I get that. Uh, this would be my second. This mm -hmm. would be my third. And this would be my fourth. Sure. Well, I'll give you my ranking right off the bat. I, I do I do like the rye. So I like it quite a bit. Uh, I think I will put it first because, you know, Canadian what? rye, Canadian rye whiskey is just rock. I mean, yeah. they do, I would especially if it's, if it's no additives and no coloring and, you know, no flavorings put in there. You know, so I really like this rye whiskey, and I really like this one next probably, and then I put that one in this wow. one. But however, I want to get to this point here real quickly before we close, and thank you for bearing with us. I'm a little conflicted on the price points um, for what you get. These are all cast strength. Don't get me wrong. The guys are doing an amazing job putting some quality whiskeys in, in these bottles. They really, really yeah. are, and, and, and I applaud them for that. But as I sip through, do I feel like I'm 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 sipping one hundred dollars plus quality? Not quality. I put that word out of there. That's not the right correct word. Do I feel like I'm getting a hundred dollars worthy of you know of whiskey to me? That that's the that's my biggest quandary. Mm -hmm. if that's a word. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard that word used before. I don't necessarily know what it means, but I'm going to use it there. It's it's hard sourcing stuff, especially when it's that old. I don't know about the Canadian market, but in the mm -hmm. bourbon market, I have a little bit of an inkling yeah. of an idea of what it, it is to source yeah. and how much that is, and it's very expensive. Yeah. I could see if that kind of translates to the Canadian market, why some of these might be a little bit mm -hmm. more on the on the higher end in terms yeah. of a price point, because mm -hmm. you're getting like 25-year corn stuff. Absolutely. That's old. Absolutely. And I, and 
And here's here's what I think. Here's here's my conclusion to my thought process. I honestly think that my palate really isn't adjusted to this type of whiskey. Mm-hmm. I really it's do. different. It's really different. I'm, I'm used to drinking a decent amount of scotch and a decent amount of bourbon. Yeah, those are my one, two, either way, whatever it is, you know. And so, when dealing with this, as we were kind of struggling for notes and different yeah. things, it's just really different than what we are used to. So for me, I'd have to spend a little bit more time with these to really give a definite opinion. So my best advice, Trenton says this all the time, but my best advice, especially for this Found North whiskeys, is try to get a pour somewhere. Yeah. Try it out somewhere. See if it's your thing. Because I am with you that the price point, I get it because of what they're putting in this bottle. Yeah. I'm relating the price point directly to what I taste and how I feel about what's in my glass. Yeah. Some right? of these, it's a tough sell. Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, for me, especially this one. Would you so, buy any of these for the price that they're at? Uh, this rye whiskey, I, I probably would. I would also. I would. That and, would be the only one for me. I would. Yeah. At this point, I'm glad I bought the one I have. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. I absolutely appreciate you guys for sending us these bottles. Very, yeah, thank very you, nice Phil. of you. Um, but this is a different animal. It is. It's a different animal. Yep. So do your homework. I love to hear in the comments from those who uh, had it, those who love it, and those who don't, because we get the best conversations in the comments. You would know more than that. I learned a ton from that. So help us out with this. See what you think right now. Toss it. I'm I'm a little conflicted, so help us out. That's all we got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Trent, I don't know about you, buddy, but I had a great time tasting this stuff anyway. It was fun, yeah. Thanks again, Philip Found North, for sending this out. This was cool. Excellent. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.